11th of July 2018. So this is the Syrian hamster. Lah. Yes. How, how is spelled her name? Uh, M-A-R-Y. Okay, Mary. Huh? Yes. How old? Uh, three more months to two years. Three or four more months. Mm, months. So let's three say months. one year, nine months. Huh? Yeah, one year, nine months. Then uh, male, female? Female. Okay, so what's the main complaint now? Uh, below the neck there's a tiny lump. Okay, okay observation. She has, mm. she has been salivating non stop for it's the past problem. maybe five, six days. Mm. But the eyes are closed, so you know that, right? Uh, until only this morning it was closed. She doesn't she doesn't this is a sign of very bad infection. Mm. Normally, when the eyes are closed, they, they really are in a bad shape already. Yeah. Only today, uh, this morning, her eyes started uh, closing. This is, this, this is a sign when we see hamsters with eyes closed. Normally, the eyes are infected as well. I see. So you can see the lump there. Yeah. Uh, this lump is below the the neck, uh, the chin, uh, right? They might have wear the gloves. Uh. And uh, this lump been there for how long? Mm, visibly, maybe about a week. A week? Yeah. But more than that, right? Yeah, before that she was still active. So last Thursday onwards she started sleeping la, the whole day. Mm. Don't want to move anymore. You say you, say you went to one bed with what? Uh they consultation. yeah, consultation they told us it might be an abscess, then mm. they poked it. Okay. Using a, I think needle. Mm. So instead of pus coming out it was a pool of blood. blood so blood. she said maybe it's a hematoma. Hematoma. Yeah. hematoma. Mm. But then the vet asked whether we knock her onto something or if she fell, but mm. she can't really hit herself there, la, so we don't think so. Mm. So in the end, we are not sure why there's a lump there. The about 140 grams. Drop rate, I think. 138. So no, no more eating, right? No more eating. Uh, we, we have been feeding her oat. No, like she's eating. Boiled oats. Is she eating or not eating? She's now? eating, yeah. This morning just ate also. Still eating? Uh? Mm. Still eating. You say got saliva? Yeah, a lot of saliva. Drooling. Yeah, yeah. then there's this lump over there. Yeah, this lump is a big one. It's most likely an abscessed tumour. Tumour means there's a growth. Uh. Then it got infected. Then you can see the parts here. Oh. And uh, it's a recent one or quite long already. Uh. Then why the time the vet poked it, right? There's no pus coming out. No, then you can see the yellowish mm, thing. I mean, it's not that the whole, mm. the whole lump is full of pus. It's just that only this part there. I see. So, unfortunately, still need surgery. There's no other way to, to relieve the the, the pain. It's painful, see. Mm. Or for eating and swallowing. So. What I do is uh, normally I give antibiotics uh, for one or two days first. Now she's been on the bay trail. Mm, yeah. Oh, you're given really? Yeah. yeah. On the again. fourth day. So you are given then. Uh, did the, did the hamster drink? Yeah. It looks she like she's dehydrated. Both. She drank the nectar cam and the bay trail. Okay. So then it, it can be done a uh, surgery because the antibiotics is given. Is it? But the risk is still there. Uh. I understand. So if you don't take the risk, then... Uh, we are more concerned about how much will it cost in... About 200 plus. Uh. 200 plus. Oh. So this one is quite a big tumour. So it takes some time to do as well. But the important okay. thing is uh, how long is it? Whether it's cancerous or not. If it's cancerous, then even though I remove it, it will still... Uh, I understand. Come back again. But so if it's not cancerous, then no more. Yeah. Only during during the surgery, then you will know whether it's cancerous. No, must send to the lab oh. for for check for cancer check. But if not, then we just uh, no. I mean, that cost money. Oh. If not, then just uh, we wait and see. Uh, I mean, after removal, then I need to stitch up again. The wound. Oh. Oh. But the risk is is, is high. Like in your case, the other fellow is only thirty percent. Yours, I was put it at 50 to 60. Uh. Of survival, is it? No, the risk anesthetic. Oh, you mean not waking up, is it? Uh, uh, anesthetic risk. Uh. Mm. Because you delayed too long. Okay. I think she's still quite. Yeah, that's why it's 50 to 60. Mm. Otherwise, it'd be very low low chance of survival. It's still active. You're still eating, right? Pooing, right? Yeah, eating and pooing. But less, uh, much less. Yeah, but the pooing from the raindrop become like. Circular kind of yeah, smaller and smaller, and 
and uh, I mean this this one is near the neck bit that, that is the the area where it's quite sensitive to the throat the nerve you know. but uh, this is the, the how long will it take usually let's say she were to go for surgery the surgical time uh, surgical yes. time about maybe five to ten minutes uh. yeah, ten minutes mm, that one is okay it's the anesthetic I see. Uh, surgery is, is not a problem here. But the recovery, will she be able to recover at home by herself or what do we have to? Uh, if, if the lump is uh, doesn't involve the inside, uh, then she will recover. It's okay what you say, you, you might. But the eyes are open there, so it's good news. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, there was a bit of gooey thing there, I wiped it off this mm, morning. Those are parts, yeah. Mm. Oh, let me check the teeth also. Who's the owner? Sorry? No, the owner. You, you are the owner? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Check the teeth. Huh? With the mouth. I can tell from the teeth whether it's eating or not. She's very big. Huh? If it's not overgrown teeth, then it shows that it's been eating. Then it's been eating. Uh, teeth are short. Huh? It has been eating. Mm, uh. She has been eating. Then we need to lose appetite. Uh. She don't really eat the hard okay, food so anymore. So we'll yeah. name the dessert. Uh, surgery.